me again, Rowan Huang. I got some extra time, so I thought I did some broadcast. Uh, before I begin, let me first introduce myself. My name is Rowan Huang. I'm an author, spirit coach, and also a psychic. Um, just quick note with everybody. Um, I got a message this couple of days saying um, I'm way more natural on <laughs> in front of camera now compared to my very first episode. Um, I hope I am because it has been three hundred episode plus two, you know, English Chinese. I hope I am more comfortable in front of camera, but yet I still got a lot of room to improve. But let's hope our future episode can, you know, make up to it. So anyway, today I want to make um a, just a really quick broadcast and talk about something like obviously it's a common question. So I will see if I can answer this. <laughs> The topic is called "You Are What You Eat." Hope that topic explains it all. This particular topic, I want to talk about. You are what you eat. That means who you are is based on what you eat. <laughs> it's not just it. If you follow my episode, you will understand everything connect together. But this topic comes from a very particular question, which I believe is、um, a common question. Um, a while back, I have a follower ask me a question, basically saying, you know, what we eat, we, you know, connect with, or you know, daily life is all impacting us. So this particular reader feel recently feel very tired when he's when she's tired or mentally exhausted. She's always looking for like a lot of deep fried food to、uh, compensate that feeling, right? So even though in her mind she know I should not do that, I should not continue doing this. This is not healthy for me. But she just simply cannot resist. Like she cannot, you know, control herself to not to eat them, right? Um. So she just curious. Um. When people are dealing with this, when you have that desire to want to eat things, what would you do? Will, like, will you just talk yourself out of it, or will you try to use meditation? Or convince you yourself to eat healthier food to、um, help you cope with those bad emotion that you're dealing with.、Um, if you are my kid, <laughs> if you are my kids, you will probably hear me often saying every time my kids start scouting for food. <laughs> you know, we, now we're talking scouting for food as outside you were normal. Dietary, like I already had my lunch. I'm really not hungry, but I'm just couldn't. I had that desire to continue looking for food, continue looking for thing, right? So very often my kid does that, and then whenever they do that, I would ask,、um, "Are you feeling stress or are you feeling sad?" It's very common two things. I'm gonna present it to you guys. If your body craving for savory food. Deep fried food, very, very possibly you are dealing with something frustrated that you couldn't, you couldn't cope with, you couldn't deal with, so you have that frustration or even anger. Then you were most likely seeking for deep fried food, savory food. If you are looking for something more sweet. Comfort food, lot of carb. It's most likely you are dealing with something more sorrow, depression. You know, like sad. That's why your body or conscious continue looking for more sweet food, more comfort food. It's very possible if you are sick too, you will、um, subconsciously looking for more sweet food. There's a reason for it. I'm not saying apply to everybody, but I'm just here using that as an example for you guys to use it as a reference, and then try to check if it apply to yourself. There's a reason for this. The reason to that is because when we are angry, angry or frustrating, our vibration all of a sudden become a very quick vibration, a very quick and very big wave. Understand. Let's、uh, go back to what I said before. You really have to understand when I say. You really have to understand when I say everything in the world and everything under、um, universe are vibration. So you understand the reason you craving for、um, deep fry savory food is because it fall into the same vibration. So you automatically want to look for similar frequencies to make you feel comfortable, 
feel like you are not alone. Feel like you know you are compensate. You are emotionally compensate for it. So that's why you will most likely look for those kind of food. While you are、um, sick, depressed. Um, feeling sorrow and all that, your vibration go kind of very slow, not as quick as that. Very slow, right? And big wave move. Therefore, you looking for something to compensate that feeling too. It's very common people eating sweet or eating carb, a lot of carb, when they feel they are、um, happier, they feel they are you know more you know pleasant or something. To compensate that feeling, that's why very often if you are seeking for sweet food, you know, outside your basic need, <laughs> you continue digging for it, you just couldn't help, you know. <laughs> It's most likely you are dealing with those kind of emotions. So in my house, if you're in my household, when I start to re- realize my kids are constantly digging for certain food, you know, to an extensive amount, then I will. Ask them to look into their emotion rather than tell them not to eat them. You know what I mean? Because we all know, based on so many episodes I did before, sometimes when the emotion is at the present, the more you try to resist, it's like the more you try to say you are not important. I don't want you. You don't mean anything to me. That kind of rejection usually create a resistance. That means the more you want to reject them, the more they feel the need to be there. So. By trying to deny their existence, you might create the opposite、um, result that you wanted. That you would realize you have more and more craving. The more I say, you know, I shouldn't eat this. I shouldn't eat it. The more you want to eat it. Very simple thing. When I say, don't think about yellow. Guess what's the first color that come to your head? Yellow. <laughs> I say, you know what? Don't think about red. Guess what's the first color that come to your head? Red. You know, long time ago, I tell you, I'm not type of person who tell you eat all healthy. <laughs> I mean, of course, you are what you eat. I will naturally think if you can eat healthy, go ahead, treat your body nice, right? But I'm not type of person. Once you eat junk food, I'm gonna criticize you because I'm all about balance. If you eat junk food, that's okay. As long as you eat healthy somewhere else to balance out, you're all good, right? Because at the end, understand this is your body. It's only you who can take care of it. Nobody else. Long time ago, five, six, seven years ago. One picture really imprinted in my head. <laughs> That is, I guess, a picture showing me no matter how big you are, how small you are, your bone structure never change. You know what I mean? You can be very obese, and then your bone structure never change. Imagine that bone is holding all the weight that it doesn't have to hold on to, and then. Now thinking that body is gonna live your life, overcome all the tests for you, and deal with all the you know up and down with you. I guess that really impact me <laughs> strongly. So even though I too sometimes eat junk food, I start to treat this body with a little bit respect because I really want it to go with me for a long way, right? So I really hope that kind of give you guys an idea too. However. You treat your body, you know, your body gonna respond back to you. Whatever food you feeding your body, your body gonna respond back to you too. So today, when you are having a tendency, or even that caught your attention, trust me, anything caught your attention, obviously worth you to look into. Now you realize, you know, outside my basic need, I constantly looking for this kind of food. Like deep fried food, sweet food, or certain food, I just you know I cannot stop myself, which is very common thing we were taught or the way we teach ourselves. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> But I also say that too, if you believe there's nothing I can do, then seriously there's nothing you can do, right? So now we have to shift that thinking. There's always something I can do. Always something I can do. So instead of try to say don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Now I would say I already tell you most likely you create a very opposite result or effect that you wanted. Instead of doing that, say you are not important. The best way to do is you know what? I know you're frustrated. <laughs> I know you are sad. You know how can I take care of you? This is more the conversation that you should you should have you should have within yourself. If you cut yourself eating things, instead of, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Better. Better, 
instead of saying "Don't do that," the best way to do is, "Okay, why are you seeking for deep fried food?" As I already said, you got two reference. Either you are angry, frustrated, or you are sad and depressed. So now you can say, "Okay, what what are you angry about? What are you frustrated about?" Right? Ask yourself that question, and then you can have a conversation. Okay, will eat that deep fried food make you feel better? Okay, if that make you feel better, let's go eat it. Once we eat it, now what are we going to do about it? What are we going to do with the situation that you're frustrated about? What are we going to do about these things that you are angry about? What's your solution after you eat that something that you supposed to make you feel better? So really, the best the I personally believe. The best way to deal with this eating struggle is to look into your core problem. What's the problem that causes that desire? Make you want to eat? Make you want to ignore your own personal health? Make you want to ignore everything and simply want to continue throwing this thing to compensate the feeling? What feeling that is? Look into it. Work with it. Don't reject it. The once you reject it, it feels the need to come back and have a battle with you. So. Better yet, sit down, have a good conversation with it. How can I take care of you? How can I take care of you? Because you know you're gonna, you know, be with him for a long time. <laughs> We're gonna do this together. So how can I take care of you so you can take care of me? So anyway, just a really quick episode to share with you all. Hopefully, give you guys a little bit idea. I believe I talked about this before, but anyway. So what let's talk about it again?、Um, It's holiday season. It's very often in holiday season we tend to indulge ourselves a little bit more. We then tend to treat ourselves with you know extra treats, so we feel better of ourselves. But what I'm saying is, if you come to this point, you actually question why you are doing so, and then you really want to make a change of it, and you want to do something about it. Instead of sitting there and reject yourself, and then say,、like, "Don't think it, don't think it, don't think it, just don't think about the food." Guess what's the first thing you're gonna think? You're gonna think about the fried food. So, <laughs> so. Instead of rejecting it, the very best way to do is acknowledge you. Okay, <laughs> you are digging for food. Why? <laughs> Why? Are you frustrated with something? Are you feel stress about something? Are you angry about something? You know, or are you feeling sad about something? Are you feeling the need to be taken care of? What can I do for you? You know. Act like your soul, higher soul, is having a conversation with your ego, your your logical mind, and say, "What can I do for you that would make you feel better?" Let's work this together, and then let's create a better future together. Because after all, we only got one body that we can take care of. So anyway. Just a little bit thought I throw out there for you guys to think about. Again, if you like what I'm doing, you can always join me live on Paris、uh, on Facebook or go to subscribe my YouTube channel or my website ruwan.com. Till then, next time, bye.